in my last video, uh, we uh, did one example where you had the equation and we answered some question. Okay, this was the price of LCD TV. Now it is now this next question is slightly related, but uh, what is given is you have got a model, you've got some information, and from this information we want to find the equation. Okay, so let's read the uh, information that is given. Another LCD TV has an initial price of 2200. So let's say C is for the price, C is the cost or the price, and N is the number of months. Okay, N is number of months. Okay, so let me make up some table also that you have information. So N and C. Okay, so when it was the initial price of the TV was 2200. So when N was zero, the price is 2200. Okay, so this is the initial price. It reaches its maximum of 2280 four months after its release. So when N is four, you reach the maximum of 2200. Now, this is your maximum. Now, any electronic good uh, starts with the price, then it reaches its maximum, then it drops down. After 12 months, the retail price of the LCD is 1960 So after 12 months, it's 1960 Can you see it has dropped down? So the question is, find the equation that best models this situation and use this to predict the price of the LCD TV 15 months after the release. So the question is, after 15 months, what's the price of the LCD TV? So let us draw a sketch of this uh, graph. So this is your uh, y-axis and this is your x-axis. Okay, so this is your y-axis. So I'm taking C on the y-axis and on the x-axis I'm taking N for the number of months. So when it was zero, it is a 1200 year, not drawn to scale, and you don't need to draw to scale. So, this is a 1200 year somewhere here. So, this is 1200. Sorry, it's not 1200, it's 2200. Sorry, <clears throat> this is 2200. So, after four months, so this is a four months here. Uh, so let me draw the graph. So it's a it's a par, uh, it is a parabolic graph. So it grows like this, somewhat like this. Okay, I don't know. So this is not drawn to scale. So at four up at four month at four months. So I should delete this. The four month is in the middle. So this is the four months. So this is the maximum. So at four months, the price is uh, two thousand two hundred and eighty. Okay, and in the twelfth month, so this is somewhere here. In the twelfth month, the price is one thousand nine hundred and sixty. And the question is, if in the fifteenth month, so this is the fifteenth month, what is the price? Okay, so now just looking at the at the vertex or the turning point, you can see the parabola has gone. So the equation is C is uh, a times it has gone four to the right so it should be n minus four the whole squared and it has gone 2280 up so this is 2280 okay now we need to figure out a for which we can put either this point or this point so i'm going to select this point so we know when n is zero when n is zero your C is 2,200. So let me put 2,200 in place of C. So this is 2,200 is equal to A times 0 minus 4 the whole squared plus 2,280. So let us take away 2,280 from both sides. So if you take away 2,280 from this side, you have to take away 2,000. 280 from this side. So you've got two sides of the equation. This and this gets cancelled. Now this is where you have to be super careful. So this is A times negative 4 squared is equal to 2280 take away or 2200 take away 2280 is minus 80. 
Okay, so this is minus AT is equal to 16A. Now, even before you write the equation, you should know the value of A should be negative because it's upside down. Okay, so this, you divide both sides by 16, so minus 80 divided by 16 is equal to 16A divided by 16. So 16 gets cancelled, this implies this is minus 5. So the equation is minus uh, 5, so we can say C is equal to minus 5 times uh, n minus 4 the whole squared plus 2280. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to the question is what's the price after 15 months? After 15 months, what's the price? So let's confirm this. So go to your graphic calculator and type in the equation. Okay, so that is minus 5 times x minus 4 the whole squared plus 2280. I need to change the scale from 0 to 20. I'll go from 0 to 20, scale of 2, and y I'll go from 0 to maximum is 2280, so I'll go 2300 and draw the graph. So this is the graph, it goes like this. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so your GSOL and maximum. Fourth month, you get the maximum. And uh, again, exit, GSOL, oops, draw, GSOL, Y calc when X is 12, 1960. Okay, so, Let's answer the question when n is 15, what is c? You can do this on a calculator, but I would rather first do it without the calculator. So this is minus 5 times 15 minus 4 the whole squared plus 2280. So let me use the calculator. So g is uh, 1 minus 5 bracket. 15 minus 4 squared plus 2,280, which is 1675. After 1675, so after 15 months, the price is 1,675. Now, how can you check it? Again, go to your graph. Equation is already sitting there. I have to scroll like this. You may not have to scroll like this, and then go GSOL and y calc when x is 15, 1,600.